Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, so it's market outlook time. Let's take a look at Premier League team of the season. And of course, the Saudi League team of the season is coming today and talk about what we're going to be seeing on the market this week. Throughout this week, there's a lot of questions, right? With upgrade packs being the main hype point right now with a lot of SBCs being completed, what's that going to do for the market as well? Can you make some coins this week? I think that answer is a yes. And also, what is there to expect today with the Saudi League Tots dropping? Dropping and new objectives, new icon swaps potentially with the the whole new or the whole set of icon swaps ending and the whole season ending this Friday. So we'll, we'll get new um, season progress players, of course, for level 15 and level 30. This is your last week to get to that level 30 grind if you really want Lamella, Brienne, or Kandreva. And um, yeah, again, the big part about what right now what's going on in this game is the upgrade. Packs. We have TOTS cards that are dropping in price from that squad battle supply and just people going out and doing these upgrade packs. I haven't even favorited them yet. I've really not been on the game too much today. It's been a crazy weekend, but I did see that EA dropped the SBCs that we wanted. We got the Premier League premium upgrade, a rare player pick um, as these craftable kind of SBCs right now. Now, this is the one that I'd be doing. The Premier League premium upgrade, this is the one that I'm going to be putting a lot of coins into this week. It doesn't require Prem rares. It just requires 11 rare players. It has to be, of course, gold rare players, 45 chemistry in a 442 formation. That is a GG. Now, you're going to get a lot, and we'll talk about the crafting side of things as well from this, because if you're spamming these packs, you're going to be able to craft and recycle, right? Those are two popular words that we see all the time. If you're doing packs this week, buy the rares, do the premium upgrades. If you don't want to buy the rares, you can technically grind up on the packs from like BPM if you really want to do that grind. But if you have coins like me, I'm going to be buying rares, doing the prem upgrade, and then rinsing from that prem upgrade all my non-rares. I'll maybe rinse some of them into this rare player pick, and then the other ones will go into the Premier League upgrade. So it's a lower tier upgrade that requires just 10 gold players and 30 chemistry. So you can put one, whatever, bronze, silver, or whatever in this squad. So that's a perfect place for you to rinse. If you really are just trying to pack blues, I would say the way to go for it this week is going to be buy the rares, do the premium upgrades, then rinse your rares back into the premium, and then, you know, rinse some of your golds into the player pick and into the Premier League upgrade if you really want to do that. Um, because, of course, we're going to have the Saudi League tots today as well. So technically, you could get other tots cards in the rare player picks. I think the only thing that we would have wanted to see differently yesterday from Sunday when they released these, if this was the 81 plus player pick, then that would be cracked, right? If they released that one in this game, that'd be an awesome, awesome SBC to have alongside with that Premier League premium upgrade. But that's the one that we wanted, right? That 25K pack. And that just makes things very craftable. Now, I did not do a lot of buying or selling yesterday, but I did buy this Cantona at 1.53. Uh, and he was 1.7 for most of the weekend. So I'm going to be holding on to this a little bit uh, and probably trying to sell it later on uh, in the next day or so. But that was a pretty good deal. Now, let's take a look at these TOTS cards, right? Because, of course, upgrades are out. People are spamming coins, and we'll talk about the market impact of that. But these TOTS cards are down. Harry Kane, 500,000 coins. Salah is in 1-2. I mean, Rashford's down 300K today. Sun is back down almost at his lowest price since Lightning Rounds. Ruben Diaz at 370. Ederson as a 94 rated card is 120k. That's pretty crazy. Fofana looks cheap. Shaw is down. Cancelo's dropped almost 100k. Mason Mount is almost 300,000 coins. So a lot of these cards are dropping with supply. And these are kind of be these are kind of going to be the lower prices that we'll see throughout this week. Not like the absolute lowest, but you see on the weekends they're up, right? They've you know just come into packs. We have all the supply from the lightning rounds that come through the first three days, and now we get into the week with that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame as usually the lowest for these cards. Now next week we have La Liga team of the season, and we'll talk more about that. But this Premier League team of the season squad is going to be. Uh, they're going to see a massive rise later in the week after awards. And again, a lot of the market that has been sold off, there's a lot of coins in this game right now. So a lot of your Premier League links that went up last week are going to rise again later on this week. And we'll be talking about that a lot this week. But again, if you're eyeing any of these cards for your team, I think you just keep watching them drop a little bit lower as the focus this week is on those upgrade packs and on those SBCs. I do think you will see some of the market continue to drop off a little bit, depending on also what other type of SBC content that we receive. Now, of course, this Harry Kane card has been a fluctuating beast. Uh, I traded this guy last night. 
I bought him down at like 581,000 coins and I got kind of lucky. I sold him at 620 um, and then he's down again today, 530. And then now since rewards, he has dropped from 530 to uh, 500K flat. So a nice drop there on Harry Kane and also a very rare card. So this guy keeps fluctuating. But again, you have some of these high tier guys that are down a lot from the supply. Some of these might bounce back a little bit into the morning today on Monday, depending on the content that we have. And I also want to look at these cards. I want to look at the EFL cards because they are going out of packs and there's a lot of players that are a part of the squad even though they've been in packs for the extra couple days I'm sort of interested like this Max Aaron's you know out down at the 70,000 coin range it looks like he's been bought up he was 70k a couple hours ago uh, that for me is a really good investment as a pacey English right back we saw this guy at 150k before he was reintroduced into packs Tony Aaron's Buendia at Clark Harris you know those are guys that I think you might see a bit of a rise on you're already starting to see it of course um, with possibly some investing but these guys are going out of packs now Serie A team the season today or sorry not Serie A Saudi League uh, I feel like the EFL tot squad is probably going to have a little bit more hype than the Saudi League is going to end up having uh, we will see though what it ends up looking like today. I really don't know. I haven't done a lot of research or even looked into what uh, players could be in the Saudi League tots. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, but hopefully we'll see some nice cards in there. Usually there's a couple gems from each of the secondary league team of the seasons that come out that just kind of make you think, wow, those cards are actually kind of sick. Somebody got a crazy little bid on the Ansu Fati at one mil earlier today. That was pretty nuts. Anyways, a lot of the market is down in total, right? Coming out of the weekend league, we're going to take a look at these cards and talk about this because if you're not somebody who's really, if you don't really want to go in a lot on opening upgrade packs or you don't want to spend too many coins this week doing that, if that's not your cup of tea and you're still looking to make coins and trade on this market or buy players for your team, perhaps, um, these cards have really dropped back off to where they were almost you know, pre-market resurgence on Friday night when stuff got crazy high. Atal is back to 700K. Awar is back down to 600. Adama's in the 700K range. Kent has dropped. Tamori's dropped even further than he was before. And also with La Liga team season coming up later this week, watch out for your La Liga out-of-pack specials. This might be an early time to get in on some of those, like a Modric, who's going to be a rare card that people will probably try to link to some of those new La Liga Tots cards coming out later this week. So watch out for your Spanish links. Um, a guy like that Modric is probably going to be the best version of him in the game. So, But again, you look at these cards prices and you see Lucas is down. Uh, you know, Sané's down like 100,000 coins from where he was very, very high later in earlier this weekend. De Bruyne 472, right? That's down like 30, 40,000 coins. You take a look through some of these informs and special cards. Conte's 1 mil, Odegaard 232, Chris Smalling is 292. I think some of the center backs are being hurt in price on this game because of the good value center backs that are in this Premier League team of the season. I mean, you've got Fofana and Ruben Diaz in the 250 to 350K range, which are both really solid cards. And I think that's actually affecting more of the market in the center back position than I expected it to. Um, but even like this um, this Fatih card was 1.2 million coins easy earlier this weekend. If I saw this at like 1.05, I'd probably go for a snag because, you know, you got La Liga Tots coming on later this week. And that's a card that is still team of the season and end game statistically in this game uh, that a lot of people will try to use with La Liga team of the season. So regardless of whether you're looking at those types of links or Premier League cards, this actually, this Reina is really low. Watch some of your Premier League cards too, or just your meta specials like Kamavinga, 620 for that card. He was well over 700k on the weekend. Uh, just watch out for these cards because I do think they will rise back. Maybe not as high. It depends on what card it is. But there's going to be, again, a rise back because there's so many coins on this market. You guys remember, I bought Yetter for 500k on Friday and sold him for 580. This Bamba was 260 on the weekend. He's now down under 200k. Joao Felix, 245, right? I don't know if he's getting a team of the season card or not, but that card's going to link to a lot of those Tots cards that do come out, right? That's down a bunch too. Situation potential right there. And, of course, you got your Varane special card. That's down 100k today. This Pogba is up. Um, you know, so I'd be watching the market because I do think with the SBCs that are out, and this is something, if, if the SBCs right now, the upgrade SBCs, if they have hype, which I think these do, because again, you've got Premier League TOTS cards that are in packs and everybody's going to try to spam some packs this week in the first couple of days specifically of the week to try to get some of these cards. So I would really think that with these SBCs out, a lot of the focus is going to be on these and opening the packs. That's what I'm going to be doing this week. So you're going to have less eyes on the market. And I think that means potential 
for some of these TOTS cards and some of the out of pack specials to continue sliding downwards and really not have a lot of hyper demand until we get to that Wednesday timeframe. And then you're going to start to see people start thinking about buying up some of those cards, whether it's Premier League links, just meta out of pack specials for a rise for weekend league. And then, you know, your top tier icons and stuff as well, just like we saw last week, but even to a greater extent this week, you're going to see a huge market rise later in the week again, because people that are getting their weekend league rewards from this weekend that is just ending, they're really going to try to go out and put together a team with maybe some of these new Premier League TOTS cards that they want to add to their, their team or whoever they pack from the guaranteed TOTS SBC. That's a big one as well. The guaranteed Premier League TOTS SBC is going to be a huge, huge part of this week. Now, technically, right now, it's not in the code yet. I believe that it, it has not been added to the code. Only the Saudi League guarantee has been added in. So, of course, since we've had the whole social media blackout thing um, this week, and there's a lot of tweets that I know EA is not really tweeting. I don't know if that's like Footwatch and stuff like that as well, but I've been checking around, and all of the guys that usually tweet out the code, I haven't seen any tweets from them about any new code being added. So I don't think we have that pack yet in the code. And if it's not coming, then that is a huge L, right? We need that guaranteed Prem Tots upgrade pack to be a part of this week. So I think it will be. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But what is that pack going to cost is the big question. We're going to go back to FIFA 20 really quick and show you what that pack costed. Because if we're basing anything off of last year, Earlier this last week, we saw the Community Team of the Season pack. Um, it was the same exact requirements as the um, Team of the Season pack from last year. So I'm going to search TOTS SF, and we're going to go Premier League TOTS SF Guaranteed. That's the SBC that we are looking for right now on the footbin machine, and that is this one right here. Prem League, I think it was like an 88-rated squad, and a Team of the Season is what it required last year. 88 rated squad with one team of the season player and 70 chemistry last year. So if you're doing upgrade packs this week, maybe be careful with your higher rated fodder that you pack because I do think that it could be around the same requirements for this year. Uh, I hope that it's less. I hope it's like an 86 or an 87 rated squad. But I feel like they could still make it 88 because, uh, you know, they, they got a guy like Rashford in here and Bruno Fernandez at two to 3 million coins. There's only uh, right now five cards that are over a million coins with De Bruyne being right in that range. Now, of course, there's only 15 cards, so maybe they can price the SBC a little bit cheaper, but I honestly have a feeling that they won't. I think they're going to make this probably an 88 or 87 rated squad requiring a team of the season card. So really watch some of your fodder this week. Now, fodder, again, is still very low. It's up a little bit uh, from where it was. I mean, if you take a look at 84s, they were, they're still pretty low. 85s are pretty cheap. I mean, this stuff is lower, but your higher rated fodder might start to see a little bit of an uptick in price as people are getting prepared for that to come out later on this week. And that's not to mention any SBCs that we could see at some point this week as well. So again, I'm really watching some of this out of pack special stuff to see which kind of stuff has dropped and which kind of stuff has maintained a high price because that to me... I really want to take in that information. This Sissoko was like 350. He's down to 299. That's a meta, meta card as a midfielder in the Prem that people would probably like to use. Now, of course, you have this Abamyang for 730,000 coins. This interests me, right? That's a huge undercut. Is that actually on the market? Is this a bombing at 730 actually sitting on the market? Because if it is, I'm going to get involved because this is a card that I'm interested in for later this week. Of course, as Arsenal are playing, they're down right now. 730, it's been sitting there for that long? Let me just make a double check and make sure that he hasn't been that price all day today. He really hasn't been. 730 has been pretty low. So you know what? I'm going to go and pick this up because I think that's a really good price. I mean, this guy's probably going to be towards 800,000 coins as we get towards that game later on this week. As we do have Champions League and Europa League, the second legs coming on later this week. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for as well are those games. Any road to the final market movements that, you know, cards that lost in the first leg, uh, you know, you might see if they have a potential to come back. Like, I'm not sure uh, about the whole Manchester City with the PSG situation. Can PSG do something in the second leg? We will see. Um, but then, of course, I'm, I'm really watching that Arsenal side because I think Arsenal might be able to come back on Villarreal. Uh, of course, the first leg uh, was not so good for Arsenal, but uh, we will see. And of course, I mean, big games in the Champions League. And we have the uh, we've got the showdown as well on the front page here. We have got the showdown between Marcus Alonso and Mariano 
for that Wednesday game on the 5th of Chelsea versus Real Madrid. So that's we have to kind of keep our eyes on that as well. Uh, that's going to be sort of the content we'll see this week. Also, what that means is potentially UEFA marquee matchups again. I don't know if they'll do it for a second week and then focus on the Europa League games because I believe the UEFA marquee matchups that came out before was related to the Champions League game. So maybe they will do UEFA marquee matchups later on this week and focus on the Europa League games. If they did that, that would be more pack supply coming to um, the market because, again, this is UEFA, not necessarily just Champions League. I think it's most of them in Champions League before, but maybe we don't get that this week. But that could kind of mess with the supply for, the, of course, the Premier League Tots packs that we'll see and how those cards' prices move throughout the week this week. Week, But again, also on Friday, we have La Liga team of the season. Again, if you haven't seen uh, in the foot champions, the schedule in here, you can look and see next week. Uh, if you check a look at the details, it says ultimate La Liga tots pack. So that almost but confirms La Liga team of the season is next week. So we'll see our tots Messi coming on Friday. We'll have a prediction video up on that very soon. Uh, and of course, the new season is going to be arriving. And hopefully, hopefully they drop a new icon swaps right away with no lag, no delay. I think last time there was a hesitation between Icon Swaps 1 ending and 2 starting. Um, but hopefully they drop Icon Swaps 3 really fast and right away. And hopefully they add some more packs because, you know, another 81 times 25, 82 and 83 times 25 would be very nice during team of the season with all these TOTS cards out and available. So that could be one thing we see this week as well. But again, I really think it's just, there's gonna be a lot of questioning this week on when do I buy Premier League TOTS cards because this market has coins. Now, yes, there's gonna be a lot of coins drained through SBCs, through crafting, through the upgrade packs, and that's gonna make prices maybe slide a little bit into this week unless the panic selling today is just too severe. I feel like when that Premier League TOTS SBC comes out, you're going to see a market dip because that's an 87 or 88 rated squad. But like everybody is going to want to do that because that, of course, you could pack Rashford, you could pack Bruno, you could pack Salah. So we'll be talking about that later on this week and what I might think the market could do there. But that's like the focal point of the center of this week. That should be on Wednesday. That should be on Wednesday. And then, of course, I don't know if they're going to mess around with that schedule with Saudi League TOTS coming out today. Um, if they're going to do the guaranteed right away on Tuesday, like they did with EFL and Community, we will have to see. But that's kind of the market outlook for this week. Since there's a lot of coins on this on this game, trading this week-wise, you know, watch your bids. Like this Antu Fati, you know, talking about if I could see one at 1.05, then I would buy it. Uh, I mean, cards like this are going to be fluctuating down. They're going to fluctuate all around. Um, you know, of course, as they are rare and as people have coins, they're going to go out and they're going to try cards. So I'm kind of watching this Pushkas card because he's down. Uh, he was down pretty low today. This is Zidane. Your baby and your, your out of packs, baby and middle icons are going to be fantastic, fantastic to trade with as well because those fly below the radar so often, so often. That's really been a place where I've made a lot of coins this past couple weeks as we've been grinding the trade. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, man. I'm going to be spending a lot of coins this week on getting myself as many Prem Tots as we can. We'll try to upgrade this counter as high as we can go. I would love to pack Sun and Kane because supposedly that Sun card is the best one besides Rashford, maybe even better than Rashford in this team. So that's going to be a very interesting thing to watch. And I'm going to keep watching these cards even late tonight, Sunday into Monday. Uh, one common theme that we do see is some of these cards rising up. So I'm going to watch this Harry Kane Tots card since there's a lot of hype for these new guys. People want to try them out and their prices have dropped so much. People might just see these prices and be like, hey, man, I'm going to give them a go because these guys look really, really cheap from where they were. So I'm going to keep an eye on this Harry Kane tonight because if I think if I see 500K flat, I mean, look, we have five cards there to 530K. So 500K flat for me is going to be something where I'm going to get involved because boom, you know, all it takes is a couple of cards and he's back to 530. I flipped him last night. I flipped him every single night the past couple of days. So I'm really going to watch out for this Kane card, see what he can do if I can get a deal or something. And then maybe on Bruno, maybe Ruben Diaz, those are some other cards that I might just keep an eye on because they're just pretty rare. They're pretty rare, and that just means more flipping potential. I mean, this Ruben Diaz was 500K almost earlier this week, and right now he's 370. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. Cancelo as well, and Mason Mount, man, because Mason Mount, I think this is this is a pretty good card for being 310,000 coins. If I saw 300 flat for this, which he's right, he's flirting with that 300K flat range, um, I might have to get involved. We have not very many cards of Mount at 320 as well, which that might be a glitch. 
Uh, so I'm gonna try this right here. This is a pro tip, yeah. See when the market glitches out on you like that, this is a great way to actually check and see if it's glitching out. Search the old way, right? Because there's no Mason Mount cards uh, with a price range that's lower than 100K. So I, as, as I can see here, when I was searching with the actual quality type filter, it was only showing me um, one page of Mason Mount. And now when I fix it, you know, it shows me all of them. So we have about two and a half pages. So. Just a little bit of a tip there if you're messing around on the market. But I'm gonna watch those guys, maybe a slight rise in the morning as people see the prices have dropped and they want to try them out. But again, big week of trying to make coins, but also um, trying to pack some TOTS players. And that's gonna be one of the focuses for me this week. I'm glad about that price in a bombing. And that was a really good price. He's really, really rare. And that's gonna have hype building throughout the week this week as well. Well, watch your out-of-pack specials because those are 100% going to be going up again this weekend with all the coins that are on this market and some of the high-tier icons. We'll talk about that later on this week too. Maybe with a dedicated Thursday flipping video. We haven't done one of those in a while. We'll have to keep that in mind as we head out through the week. If you pack anything team of the season wise this week, if you're spamming the upgrades, let me know, right? My Twitter link is down in the description. Send me pictures, send me whatever. I want to see what you guys can pack from these SBCs. If you pack some blues, I would love to see it. But that's the market outlook for me this week, boys. Premier League Tots uh, continuing, Saudi League Tots today, and then La Liga coming on this Friday. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.